We're continuing to look at the May 2024 CSET Mathematics paper. We're at question 10, part D. It says, in the Pentagon, O, A, B, C, D. All right, five sides, right? O, A is parallel to D, C. Okay, you can see from the arrows there. Um, and AB is parallel to OD. So you can see from the arrows there. Right? All the one arrows are parallel to each other. All the two arrows are parallel to each other. If there were three arrows, they would be, those would be parallel to each other and so on and so forth. OD is 2AB. Oh, OD is two times AB. Alright. OA is 2DC. Okay. OA. So you can name the vector using two letters with the arrow above them. Or you can give it one letter. Well, the two letters with the arrow above them, they would have to be uppercase. But if you give them a name with one letter, it would need to be lowercase and bold. Or if you can write it bold, you would have to have it like that with a little line below it. But anyway, so they say OA is A, OB is AB is B. Find in terms of A and B. In its simplest form, AD. Alright, AD. Hmm. Let's see what happened here now. The vector AD. Alright, it's a vector. We have it as a result time. Alright. Let's put two arrows on it. Well, we already have vectors with two arrows, so let's put three arrows on it to show that it is the resultant. Alright? So, vector AD here. Oh, by the way, remember, <coughs> you must make a genuine attempt at it before you watch the solutions. So what did you get for AD when you did it? If you didn't do it yet, write this down and pause the video and do it on paper. Okay, you finish. What did you get? All right, we want AD, right? The vector AD. <coughs> now, you can go from A to D along vector AD. Or you can use an alternate route. Go from A to O, then O to D. And you end up in the same place, alright? So what you can say is AD is equal to AO plus OD. Now, what happened here? AO is the inverse of OA. So you can say AD equal negative OA plus OD. Alright? Now, they say OA is A. So you can say AD is equal to negative A plus OD. So right now you have OA in terms of A. You need to rewrite OD now in terms of A or RB. Now they say OD is two times AB. 
at the same time, AB is law case B. Alright? So, let's continue. AD is equal to negative A plus OD is 2 times AB. As you see up here. Alright? Now, AB is lowercase b. So what you do, you write AD is equal to negative A plus 2B. So that is what you have as your answer. Negative A plus 2B. You could write it as 2B minus A if you want. You see that? Alright, after that, let's say BC. BC. Now, let me just. Uh, we're going to use some space. You need some space here. Now, BC, right? For BC, what we could say, if we go from B to C, you say I'm going from B to A, then A to O, then O to D, then D to C. Or we could go B to A, A to D, then D to C. Whichever one we want. Alright? Anyway. So BC. You go from B to C. You would end up the same place if you go from B to A. A to O. O to D. Then D to C. Alright? So BC equals BA plus AO plus OD plus DC. Alright? So BC equals what is BA? BA is negative B. AB is positive B. So BA would be negative B. The inverse um, vector. So it's negative B. So we have that one taken care of. Plus AO. Now, in our earlier working, we saw that AO is the inverse of OA. Alright? So AO, remember OA is lowercase a. So AO must be negative lowercase a. So it's negative a. Alright? Plus OD. No. OD. Um, I'll erase the work before. But remember that OD is twice AB. And AB is small b. Lowercase b. So OD is 2 times B. Alright? Plus DC. We, did, we didn't work out DC before. Alright. Let's look at how we figure out DC in terms of lowercase a and b. Going from D to C. Remember, this is parallel to this. And they say OA This is parallel. Now OA Well, OA is 2 times DC. So this distance here is twice the distance here. But OA is small a. See that? 
So this part here, BC equal, let's put this in alphabetical order and put the Bs together. Negative A, negative B plus 2B. Let's simplify this part, the B and the 2B. Negative B plus 2B with positive B. All right. And then plus DC. DC is 2 times OA. So BC then is equal to negative A plus B plus what? 2 times OA. But O is A. So it's 2 times A. So BC is equal to negative A plus 2A would be A. So it's A plus B. So here BC would be A plus B. You see that? So BC equals A plus B. All right, so that is that. What else do they say happen? Ah, look at this. Now they say, state the conclusion about AD and BC that can be drawn from your responses. Ah, the, the magnitudes, I mean, in terms of 1 and 2. Now, let's look at that in one next video.